everybody, it's Terry Crews and Son of Beast here. Welcome to tonight's game of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Game 5 as we are ready to find out which team will take the response in and get ready for the lineup. This time we are sending you down to Cleveland, Ohio. The Indiana Pacers have tied the series up 2-2 two and two, and they're facing against the Cleveland Cavaliers back at Rocket Morgan Fieldhouse. And we're ready to send you back in for the rock and roll in Cleveland, Ohio. It's definitely a great sign to see what goes in and find out what will the next generation be. For the next commentary I will have is Boomer, and he's also along with the other commentaries of the crew, which has to, and finally, we have it across here, is Tyler Beast. And now, let's get this game started. I hope you all enjoyed this part of the first two games, but now, the next side two games are here. Enjoy, folks. Let the games begin. Pacers, Cavaliers, on its way. It's that time, as this one goes into the locker room, and all settled in for game five. Thanks for tuning in for the tonight's game of the NBA Playoffs. It's Boomer, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Tyler Beast and Testu. Ali LaForce is on the sideline for tonight's game. And this is where we are calling for back-to-back -back switches from Indianapolis to Cleveland, and Cleveland back to Indiana. Yeah, the key matches are in between Darius Garland and Tyree Celeberton. Andrew Nemhard is on Donovan Mitchell. Aaron Nesmith is on Max Schroes. Evan Mobley is on Pascal Siaka, and finally the center guards, Miles Turner on Jared Allen. I'm about to be bringing you the City Food Edition for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I haven't seen him so long already. Well, this is what the land is. Let's find out what they can do. And here we go. We start off with Game 5. Let the clock games begin. Here's a start running in between. Evan Mobley will try to keep it over, and now he finds again to Aries Scarlett. Trying to find his way down, now finding it again. Over to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, in towards the middle. Layup is put him in. Mitchell. That's his first bucket for Donovan Mitchell. He's putting up here big right now. When Donovan Mitchell making a better try, that's what he always noticed. He made this one a lot clearer to have. Here's Pascal Siakam with the ball. Nesmith is on the outside. Looks his way down. Covering it up on the two. Some performance effort for Jared Allen. Now he has the ball. He has his first rebound of the night. Back into the open again to Terry Scarlett. Garland now finding it again to Evan Mobley. Mobley trying to make it his way down over again to Garland. Garland tries to play it up to Donovan Mitchell. And here's Mobley for the first three. Swishing off. It's no good a shot. Jared Allen picks up his second rebound. And then Mobley trying to make his way in. He will have to take the two instead of the three. Mobley. Now Nesbitt will have the ball. Here's Siaka. On his crossway, finding to get to Halliburton. And now Siaka with the ball. Siaka making his way through, trying to open up. Bounce pass. Finds Turner. Takes a one hand dunk down. And Siaka, as Neesmith, takes the assist. Well, it's just happened now. I mean, you know what Nate Smith is putting in there? He makes that with a little a, a comfortable way to definitely try to handle it off. But it's not when you just try to make that one in there. If you can let that go in by, give it a try. They are making this one a lot harder to challenge. Six to shoot. There he is going for D3. This is for the outside of the target. I think he was going to try to do that, but that attempt didn't work. Near the logo, it's just impossible to get this through. Not a better idea, but not a good thing with the start for him. Here's Harry Burt, Ellerberg in. On a screen, finding over to Nesbitt, and it's good. Nemhard with his second first bucket, and Ellerberton with the assist. Listen, this is always making the passable, and that's what you always got to do. It's better on its take over, and you know. Better takes, better than sorry. This out of the Mitchell for the outside of the week. Pulls it over now again to Darius Garland. Garland. Moves it over, now find it again to Max Struess. 
Schoops gets it over to Darius Garland for a layup drive. It's in. Darius Garland and Stunner the Mitchell picks up his second bucket. Darius Garland loved that one with the drive in there. It's almost like a Kyrie Irving move. He would have expected to see Kyrie Irving returning here back in 2017. That was one thing he has done. Back in common for 27 to 18, he would have to make the start up impossible. Tiaka hits a three pointer. Two pointers makes it in as they're all tied up again. Not your day to watch out there. If you're looking like you're wanting to have the land, you've got to have that one feel. And here's the pass. Now finds it over to get to his back shoots. On the outside finds Holbrook. On a rope. Free for Mitchell. Swisher on outside. They're up in a lead now. It's a 9-6 game. Adela Burton with the ball. Now back near away. Garland watching it. Screen on Siaka. Turner with the screen and then hard back there away, not finding it again to Siaka. Six to shoot. Rolls it back. Tries to put up a two. A pointer, no good. Jared Allen with the stern rebound. Four minutes going by in the first quarter of the game. Now he's up over again, Max Schroes. Almost lost the ball. And here's Jared Allen to go for the step inbound. Two pointer misses off the target. I think he was going to be all that close. That chaotic rim is just putting in there between Darius Garland and you always have to see that when you try to get in there. Got to make that one count. Turner misses the three. Here comes Evan Mobley. And now Donovan Mitchell's is in the corner right now. He's trying to settle down. Back to Darius Garland. He now has it over to get to Mobley. The bounce pass finds it again. The troops. Struess making his way now, finding over again to Mitchell. Fades a shot. Here's a chance for Mobley. It's off the rim. Halliburton with the rebound with only 3.13 to go. Pretty outside, trying to pick up this way. Looking for a cut inbound. The three, nobody around, and he will make it in there. He will tie that game with nine. 3-0-3 left to go in the first quarter. Tyron Paul by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, they have to just try to like come with the time now. That flow is not always easy when you make it this one a lot of changes. That challenging is good a lot of hard ones to make. Not when you all call for, don't let that one change over. That's right now with Morrell checking in. Harris and Burks also checked in with George Nye. And a couple of players are also making new changes right now. as with Dermot, TJ McConnell, Walker, and finally we have Zoni Toppin. Now back here, way to the Levert. Levert in a try. That rolls off the ring. Nemhard with the rebound. Now here's McConnell. Making his way across, finding it again to Toppin. And Nemhard in the middle, and he's fouled. Now he's the first foul for Tristan Thompson. And right now, as their first team foul occurs for a couple of years, and Nemhard goes to the line, shooting two. Well, you have to watch out with that. That's a hard contact in the middle. This driving is not going to take all of that response. You're not going to get that one successfully, and that's going to be a bad timing to start things off. First trip to the free throw line will be, will be the Indiana Pacers, with only 2.31 to go in the first period. First free throw. And he hits the second free throw. Now here's Levert. 
on his way down with only under 230 to go. Tries to get over to get an ice before. Coro trying to rush his way in. Back again to Morrell. And back again to Thompson. Looks it inside. George Yang up. Solid performance by Oni Toppin. Yeah, he only showed, seen that one coming here. Oni Toppin was really trying to put a defensive effort. This offense is not doing really well. You gotta let that happen. Get that through it. Two pointer makes it in for Oni Toppin. Now that's what you're always expecting to say. Oni Toppin was wide open. Nobody is guarding on him. They gotta make sure you have a little bit more gap in between the offender and defender. The wheel from the outside now finds it up again to LeVert. LeVert puts his way across, finding Tristan Thompson. Back step for two, it's good. Tristan Thompson hits his first bucket. 13 11 to score. Indiana up again by two. Here's Walker on Thompson on the covering defensive effort. Sliding it across, in toward the middle. Victor for three. Misses a free pointer offside. LeVert grabs another rebound, and here's Niang. Niang tries to keep over to LeVert. LeVert, as right now, last game is putting up as right now, the last part of the game was 103 to 96. That happened to be a game six. It was not always easy when you take it in there. And D3 for LeVert. Oh, that went too short. And that ends off with the Cavs shot clock violation. Turns over, to the bases fall. Oh man, that, there's no room for a deep three. I mean, everybody's trying it. Like Stephen Curry, I don't know if this is going to definitely happen. It's never going to work, but hopefully the time won't tell. They have to let that be in there. And Walker slams that down. One hand dunk, and now it's a 15-11 game. Oh, look at that. They're fighting very big already. And now he finds a pass in the end. Nia now gets it over. Here's a three to Morrell and it's six it in. From the outside, this is first three quarter of the night. Back down by one. 15 to 14 to score. And McConnell with the ball. Over across, finding some more room. Morrell's on the cover. Finds Walker for two. Another missed attempt here for Indiana Pacers. Morrell will try to close things off and they can get a buzz meter. And it's passed, broken up. Here's Nemhard on his way down, five seconds to shoot. And a three, puts up, misses the target. And the aim from half court. Oh, he made it in! Unbelievable! Oh, wow! I've never seen like that! Are you kidding me? That's how you definitely get that shot in there. That's a wild half court make for George Niang. We come to the end of the period. 17 to 15 is the score. What a wild start for the half court bank for George E.A. And we'll get to you back shortly after this. Let them know. We're back for the second quarter. That's right now with the half court shot made in for George E.A. And this is what they always done. Ready to get the stage set. Now for you guys for taking on the new session, what do you have? Well, I was betting on it was going to happen for Indiana Pacers, but this won't happen to me if it can cut in the scene. I have a little bit of range in between, so Indiana might be coming back in there if they have more room. Let's find out if they do. We are starting with the second quarter. Garland is on TJ McConnell. And Pascal Siakam, he's with Evan Mobley. Jared Allen is with Miles Turner. Max Struess, he's also with Denhard. And Tyree Silver and on Donovan Mitchell. Going to make defensive rebound, and he will put it in there for Miles Turner. Now, Pascal Siaka, he had made a win with 19 points against Milwaukee in Game 6. And this was happened to be in the real playoffs, if you already seen it. Yeah, it's always better than that. Pascal Siaka, he's been doing really well. Reporter from Ali Laporte, J.P. Bickerstaff has really, really been taking all of his better effort on his, on his ultimate through school, successful on his drive. And the appearances is making it another new change. With Duncan Mitchell and their team, they're making this one a hard one to take. Now, you always better say this one because J.D. Pickerstaff has been really making his way for his appearance. You know how the reaction is. Comes up with a little bit of frustration, but it doesn't mean to anybody who had that one on a range that time. It might be what all they care for. Let them handle it. The first free throw coming in for Tyree Silver and after a foul call on Cleveland Cavaliers with 7.21 to go. 
Tyler Burton makes his first free throw. Now you can always say it's because of like you know, Tyrese Tyler Burton is really like an all into an athletic rule. Because of after drafting into the NBA, he started with up with this rookie legendary. But it wasn't a goal that he was trying to make his way to make a rookie of the year until that time had come. But that was all that was making it in there. And this is what I can always say for Tyrese Tyler Burton to have another second. Now you see how he he has it over to get the screws to finish the try. That hard defense that puts up a mouse turn. And a pass. Here's Mc McConnell. And a layup and the untouchable. Mobley with the rebound, not finding it again to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell trying to find it again to Evan Mobley. Mobley for the two. Stopping it inbound as Miles Turner is with another rebound. And here's the other take. Inside his own, trying to look for some more wheel. Give it back to McConnell. Back over to Turner. Over and Mobley. The shot. That driving traffic is loose. Mobley puts it back over again to Darius Garland. Back again to the Mobley. Mobley just in again to Darren Mitchell. Mitchell tries to get over the streets. Making a lot of changes in between. Mitchell. For the triple, back to take the lead. It's a 20 to 19 game. Mitchell with 10 points. Now they're expecting to say that this was excellent. Now I was saying that Donovan Mitchell was up there to take some more time. And now McConnell makes a drive. He will answer it back, back into a leading point to point scores in a range. They never want to mess this one up. TJ McConnell is really taking all of his effort. Might have to do another big moment. And Garland back again to Struis. Struis looking around now, back again to Garland. No look for room, you problem. He made that three pointer an easy look. Darius Garland makes it in. Now that's what I used to say, Darius Garland. He had no other idea. He said, okay, I'm going to take a three. And he just had that one in there because there's no other take. If he makes a steal, that's going to be a bigger problem to have that one. But good thing that Darius Garland found up in the room. Here's Jerry Allen up with a two foul called on Indiana. That's on Miles Turner with his first personal foul. And now the first trip comes up for Cleveland Cavaliers for the lane. Here's Jerry Allen at the free throw line shooting two. His contract has made it in there, as you always can tell now, that Jared Allen is putting a lot of his better technique. All that score is put in there. American basketball player from University of Texas at Austin. Then before Payne is making his draft appearance with the Brooklyn Nets. Before trading it off to Cleveland Cavaliers, the blockbuster happened to be in there, and it was his first all-star game appearances on February 2022 with the with the team of the Cavaliers at home for the All-Star Game event. They expect it now. They all have to believe on him. I can better say that the definition of Jared Allen, the tall man. Must have that one in there. Better moment than you have. Jackson checked in for Miles Turner. And that's the second one. Good. Indiana trailing by four. Over again. Now back to Halliburton. And now McConnell with the ball. Trades a shot. Here's a two for Halliburton. This is the hit. Jared Allen's got a six rebound right now. He will now hand it over again to Mobley. Here comes the cutting pin. Garland to finish the drive. He has his second bucket. And Mobley with his six. Now that's a cut and pick over here. You know you just have to give it off to him. An excellent performance effort. You have to go for Darius Garland to make his finishing drive. On the inside, having a little bit of trouble now finding Jackson. Here's Halliburton. From the outside of range, nowhere to go. Trying to find an open room with no look. And it's rebounded by Jared Allen. Number seven in the game, and now finds again a Jerry Scarlett. A lot of bigger takes over here. I mean, this is what the rebound is really in here. A lot of hard ones. It's not what I can all do to make this one set up creation. They gotta make this one clearer to the max. Strooks for three. Twice for the open range, but it misses out. DJ McConnell with the rebound. On a defensive effort, here's McConnell. Screen on Siaka. 
give and go to Siaka. Albert finds a pass. Jackson for two. And it's in. Another bucket made for Indiana. Back down by four. And Derry Sterling will have his ball possession. He will now have it over to get a Struce. Struce gives it over again to Donovan Mitchell. Uh, good bit of going into Jared Allen. And open look for Mitchell for three. And the bucket wins. That's a two-pointer put in for Mitchell. It's a 29-23 score. They just have to leave it open. They're flipping it in. The land makes a noise. Down on call by Indiana Bases with under 330 to go in the second quarter of the game. As we're making our way in there right now, we have a halftime show coming up for you. As we have is Tony Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shep O'Neill getting ready for our big look in the first half of the game. And also the half court of this shot. You know that George Yee couldn't just make this one in there, but that is what nobody has ever seen like this before. Oh yes, I was definitely, I was definitely really seeing it before. I love that, when that cap court makes it in there like Stephen Curry, making it in there from court line to court line, from baseline to baseline, he just made it that one right away. I feel like, how did he absolutely do that? That's unbelievable. I can't believe it that nobody has ever done that before. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just know that. I mean, this is what they always expected it. I'm making three-pointer range? It was no, no problem at all. Some changes for the Cavaliers and for the Pacers. McDermott's checked back in. As right now, more seniors checked in. We have a good strategy in between the look as we have for Donovan Mitchell. He's a little bit under behind the Golden to this range. He's in fifth place. Well, he's going to make sure he had that one in there. I mean, that's what the free, uh, the pointer has to make a range in there. Better count, better than ever. Nemar misses the three pointer on the outside. Jared Allen finishing up with eight rebounds in his first half. Now we'll put it over to Darius Garland for the ball. And Barnum will have it again to Jared Allen. Allen sliding it back now finds a core. Okoro will give it over again to Moore Sr. Last night was a loss in game six for 21 points. Now on a big 17 field goal range and only five in the range. This one happened to be a little bit of a close call, but he's looking for a bigger chance here. And Donovan Mitchell with the bucket in. Bowling. Finding over Jackson, a Moore Sr. Moore Sr. trying to make his way in for two. Solid D for Moore Sr. And here comes Mitchell to finish the drive. Up for two, and he makes it in. That's 16 points for Donovan Mitchell and Moore Sr. with the assist. Just got to believe it on that one. This is the occasional. A quote, Mitchell to finish. DM goes wide. And the drive will put it up here for them. Here's Garland. Nearing down the two minute mark. It's right now Garland trying to give it over again to Mitchell. Finds a pass, now finding it again to Isaac McCoy. McCoy are now finding it again to Gary Stroh. Now just at least two minutes to go in the first half. Allen finds it over again to Mitchell. Here's Garland for look for three. Wide open look. And Mitchell rebound. Back again to Garland. Tries to give over back again. Isaac Coro, will he take it in? Yes, he does! Coro has his first three pointer. 36 to 25 to score. A better offensive player. I like that our Coro makes it in there. The better three than ever had. Smith finds Albert and finishing off with a dumb try. 36 27 to score. And going to defensive breakdown. Oh, got to be careful right now. I mean, they're really trying to let that go in. And Mitchell, go for it, number three. Another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. And here's Mim Hart. Over on a segment. And a two-pointer will jump it in for uh, Indiana Pacers. 36 29 score. A different comparison between as he is down by 15, five points. And now Brother will have it over again to Mitchell. Mitchell tries to give it over to get our core, and he gives it now back to Moore Sr. Moore Sr. trying to hold it over. Hobble it back again to Gorland. Now back to Mitchell. Mitchell tries to make its way across. The drive is off and loose in a chain. Now back again to Halliburton. Under 40 seconds left to remain in the first half. 
shortly for the third quarter after the halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny and Jeff Smith. Donovan Mitchell was on fire in the first half. He had 16 points and one assist. He's been in the midst of some incredible games lately, and tonight, He's got it going again. Taking a look at the Cavaliers, Shaq, what'd you think? They've really established themselves in the glass. Me and Dama there has been extra possession to receive. I think he's got to, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. Well, don't get me started with it, but they're standing around flat for it. I'm looking down on the You notice way too many open threes, and at halftime the deficit, that could be and that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. You've been watching a 2K Sports Halftime Show. And as we welcome you back in Cleveland, Ohio, we're ready to start the third quarter. On a start range for Donovan Mitchell with 16 points, and he's on fire for tonight. Always gotta say now, I mean, this is what they all do. Bring your successful range in there, and that's what you always know. Mitchell, DM for a while and all. Let's say we can do more if he has. And we're about to start the second half. Eliver and start these over. He's covered up by Darius Garland. Jared Allen is with Miles Turner. Nesbitt is on Max Schroes. Evan Mobley is with Pascal Siaka. And Nembard is with Donovan Mitchell. Miles Turner. Here's Siaka for three. The answer starts it off in the second half. Siaka for his first three-pointer, and now it pulls back in, down by three. Down by four, excuse me. Now here's Schroes. Schroes tries to give it over to Gav, finding Mobley. And a reporter for Alley LaFour says he has talked to Rick Carlson. As Larry Silverman is trying to get this one a no restraint bid. Her team has been in the playoffs that long. And with a long miss of his appearance, he's trying to find another way to get in it. This was not always their time to be in it. And that one has been left out too soon. Well, they expect now. They're trying to let their team to get back into work. This all offense has been putting a lot of us heavy trickers. It's not what they always do. Because that really need to improve all players or everything. They need to make sure they have that one at the right timing too. Never hopefully we'll have to give it again to Mitchell. Darius Garland for the start for the three. Hits off the rip. Nesmith with the rebound. Perhaps his team will take a tie or take the one. Play up in, it's good. Tyrese Halliburton with another two-pointer score. On a broad scoring breakdown, he has nine points. Well, they always get a note for Tyrese Halliburton. That was what they always expected to do. Now you have the lot of movement. you got to make that one clear if you can get that through. Now he's a pass, finding Mitchell. Mitchell again to Terry Scarlett. Scarlett finds a pass, now Mitchell. Mitchell for the two, on a step up for the floater, and a teardrop in. Mitchell with 18 points. 40 to 37 to score. They trail by three. Making this sort of floor drive, it's just like a teardrop flowing in there. You have that one one step up, but that motion is keeping in there for Donovan Mitchell. He's looking for it tonight, guys. Here's Donovan Mitchell. 
Bruce that hard. On his way down for the two, he will have that one by mid range. Back to a one point digit lead. 13 points for Andrew Nemar, and here's Terry Scarlett now finds it over to here to Mitchell. Mitchell gives it over to here, now finding Garland. Garland now finds it over to Stroops. Stroops gives it over again to Mitchell. Mitchell finding again to Mobley. Mobley step back for the two over, over to Tiaka. Misses off. Allen tries to get back to Mobley up the two, and a great pass for Allen. Mobley with his second bucket. It's just putting in there. That's a great way to have that lucky down. And that's where Evan Mobley is trying to get that one here on as soon as he can. Now the pass pass again to Siaka. Pulls the screen. Turner. Up in for two. The layup. That number that brings the breakdown. They're back down by one. Everybody can do so. A lot tricky to put it in there. Not when you all do for. Keep the man on you. Don't lose your defense properly. The three. Here's Mitchell. Fires it in. And that's 21 points for Donovan Mitchell. He's like the fire, bro. Got it like you're good on its way. You see how good. On his way down, trying to find again. That mark for three. Could never miss by Indiana. Oh, they're scoring a little bit off the defense on this breakdown. They're not letting this one slow down. That line is power keeping. They don't want this one to get back in there. And here's uh, Scarlett with the ball, and now finds it again to Jared Allen. Allen tries to hit it over again to Garland. And it's probably in. Cut in with the two. It's good. Terry Scarlett with another two pointer. It's a 47 41 game. Nebar with the ball. He finds it back again to Miles Turner. Turner trying to give over to Halliburton. On a drive. And no thing here. And it's rejected by Mobley. First block of the game now finds Mobley. Here's the take. And he's fouled. Basketball Seattle, but that's first of all foul. And it's Evan Mobley. Not the free throw line shooting two. At the line for Cleveland. Evan Mobley. It's the first free throw for Evan Mobley. Now some new changes are in the court. Oni Chapman, he's checked in. For Miles Turner and Siakam checked out. That's right now McDermott and Walker with Gallagher and McConnell are checked in as he moves over. Donovan Mitchell and Struce and Allen are checked out. Levert, Morrell, and Thompson are checked in. Second free throw is good for Evan Mobley. Here's McConnell with the ball. And a timeout will be called by Indiana Pacers of under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sweet Gum. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. We have an upcoming uh, doubleheader games in between of hockey and NH of NHL and NBA of basketball and UK sports of the playoffs in between. First off, we're going to start things off over with the Jets and the Avalanche for the 1 o'clock game here at Winnipeg at the Canada's Life Century. And then the next game will be happening here as we go back to basketball as we've got the Celtics facing against the Sixers at TD Gorian Arena for, uh, for the 4 o'clock game. And following along with the tonight's game, as we have another one to take over on the other side, we've got another matchup as a key battle against the Bucks here at Pfizer Duff Forum for a 7.30 game. And finally, we have a 9.30 game, the Golden Knights face against the Oilers at T-Mobile Arena. Back to hockey, to basketball, and now basketball to hockey. That's a great one. I love that one with the double headers too. Here's the take. As McConnell will have the ball. 
Outside, Halliburton for three. And it's good. They're back down in a 49 44 game. Back down by five. Oh, they have to just keep on listening up to make three pointers. I mean, we need more room. How's that been in there? Just coming back. Those guys trying to get a good move. Harris Levert will he take the triple range? This is another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. McConnell with the ball. Finds down the top end. Fade shot. Back to Halliburton. The rails on him. And with the two back set. Top of for three. It's good. Back in the air range is the 49 47 game. Gary Scott with the ball. They're up by two, trying to answer it back to take the lead or tie it. And Garland now finds the game of Thompson. Thompson gives it go to Garland. It is a step in for the try, but it goes in. Garland will allow him to go into this game. A field goal range in between 56 51 game of this percentage. Well, they're really making this one a little bit up. They need to be having a little bit of a hard time, but hopefully they're going to need to make sure they have that one catching in there. Thompson points again to Paris Lillard. And here's Garland for the three. And number three quarter misses. Terry back inside for Tommy Silver, and now he finds again to McConnell. McConnell. And toward a drive. Bullet. Hard defensive effort. Garland with his second rebound. Now he has it over again. Back to Carol's LeBurk. LeBurk gives it over to Garland. There is Garland. The bounce pass finds again to Moret. Morel. Bouncing in the middle. Bullet. LaSalle. Garland for the two. Way off too soon. Thompson up with his rebound. And he takes it in there. Tristan Thompson with his second bucket. 57 43 7 to score. 53 47. Fans making a normal noise in Rocket Motors Fieldhouse. As now he's Major McDonald back to the Over again. Oh, oh, you mix it in. What a great setup for McDermott to give up to Walker. 53 to 49 is the score. We come back down to facts. They really see them as being a fighter. It's just no idea what you just saw of Walker trying to fit in with the deflecting and just out of your pass. That's successful as many in the race for two. And here's two, Tristan Thompson up. Now this is again. McDermott with the rebound, not finding everybody in a hell of a game. And here's the pass, he comes out of bounds. Indiana ball turns it over to Cleveland Ball. Now the substitutions on the court is right now backing in for Jackson as Walker checked out. Cavaliers are also making new changes here. As right now, Niang's checked in and Morero will be checking in with Isaac Coro and Marcus Moore Senior. Here's the take. Moore Senior for the step back and a two drops in. Moore Senior with his first, first bucket of the game, 55 49. Open pass, and Jackson slams it down with one hand dunk. Just got to keep on going right now. I mean, they're losing a lot of defensive effort. They can't let that one be over it. Garris LeVert finds again a Morrell. Morrell with the puck. Find again LeVert. LeVert gives it over. Isaiah Coro near the baseline. And good! Makes it in for Isaiah Cora and he has six points. Oh man, the open looker. That was not make that one clean. And Alaburi misses the three. That ends the third quarter of 58 to 51 to score. They are firing it up in game five for a city edition of the lane. Well, you always make this one in there. Back to back. Mobley. Deny that. Just keep on going. Just keep it going. That ends the third quarter. Last score will remain in the playoffs of the NBA for tonight's game. And we'll get you back to your cover after this. And a moment now to have a specific game presented by State Farm. Now, I'm glad right now that this one is going to be an excellent to take. That cover of this one appeared to be a great on the setup chain. When Donovan Mitchell makes the drive, that's when you give up the Masters. Max Schuess is doing really well. I mean, just let, let that happen to me. Great way to have this one come in. You made the deal. We've come down to the fourth quarter. Have you having fun with us? 
and the last game will be underway soon. Donovan Mitchell start things over, he will have it on DJ McClung. That is Max Struess, he's on Nembhard. George Niang with Pascal Siaka. Okoro with Pond Smith. And finally, it's Miles Turner on Jericho. Here's the pass now by Max Struess. Here's the first bucket with a two, and doesn't hit it off that time. Pascal Siaka will get a rebound. It finds a pass. Turner open look. Makes a drive in there as Siaka with the assist. Miles Turner has got eight points in this game. 58 53 is the score. Just make that one any easier right now. I mean, this is what they don't really do. Make this one a lot challenging. I mean, that's a hard one if they can't let that stop in. And here's another look. Pass again to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell finds the bounce pass to Alec. Alec for the two. And this one's off again, and another re rebound puts in for Siaka. Oh, they're having a little bit of breakdown right there. I have a bad feeling with that. Sure, it only. He makes a shot. Max Struis now finds it again into Isaac Okor. He is a look now for Donovan Mitchell. For number three quarter, he wants it. And he doesn't make it in there. Returner Turner back and over again over Connor, Connor, and now again to Siaka. Nemar tries to watch inside for Nick Payne. Oh, there was a deflection for the pass. Jared Allen, two blocks in a row with under seven minutes. Now, this one don't get pressured. Don't get uncomfortable with that. Jared Allen is trying to make this one an easy strength. Got to get through it. All five players are checked on the court as Jared Allen stays on the center. And now Nemar with it all. Finds a look. On our team, Alloy denies the shot. And we'll take it in here as Miles Turner has it. Indiana trailing by three. Garland trying to get over it again now to Struis. Struis with a drive, and he makes it in there. That's Struis with his first bucket. Here's McConnell with the ball. And a timeout ball by Indiana. Six and nine left to go in the fourth quarter of the game. Rise up! This is what the land does. They made this one a lot of attempt. Get it done. It's coming up here right away. 60 to 55. They're up ahead by five, looking to smash down again back in, in the downtown of Cleveland. They're making this one, and now Jared Allen does this again. Smack it out of here. Now, with a new substitutional lineup, as right now, as the couple players are checking in, and a word from Riley LaForce, looking for an arrange range in there. The Indiana Pacers are having a little bit of difficulty time, but now they're trying to find an answer right away as the Siakam is trying to train his team. The better of his ranging is a lot of taking in between, and they're trying to find another solution to get back into the game and roll on. They really have to do one. I know they're trying to let that one score in, but the Cavaliers always comes in, and they are just smoking them out. We've seen them since playing in 2017, but that was not the big difference when you definitely have to do it. And a roll in drive puts it in for an MR. A 62-60 game, 21-18 to the score, and Mitchell, Watching here is Struis. Struis now gets it over to get it down to Mitchell. Now finds a pass again to Struis. Struis tries to give it over to Garland for two. That misses again, and the turn with another rebound. Here's Siaka on a chance. Hits the shot. Evan Mobley with a rebound. Now back again to Garland. Five minutes to go in the third fourth quarter of the game. And now Mobley will have it here. Gives it over again. Now finding the pass. It's broken up the play. McDermott finding it over. And a shot for Siakam to take the lead. It's a no. And Mobley with a rebound. And he has five. Finds it over to Max Struess. Max Struess on Nemhook. Bounce pass. Over with the Mitchell. That tough shot puts it in. And it's off the hook, and it's Siakam with the rebound. He's going to tie this game up, and he misses again. Struess takes it over, now finding it again to Allen. Allen makes it over again to Mobley. Now finding it cut. Allen inside, that takes it in. Jerry Allen with six points. 64 to 60, Evan Mobley with the assist. Now with four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. 
Man in the middle. Open look. Another miss puts in for Indiana. Give and go look to see up to Gary Sterling for two. And he will have it in there. It's 13 points for the game. 66 to 60 to score. McConnell. Over and third away. Gives it over to Nesmith. Nesmith with the screen on turn. Over for two. And he misses again. Allen now finds it over to get done the Mitchell. Mitchell loses the ball. Oh, here they come. Here's Siaka. Watching in for two. It's an highway mobile. That misses again. Great contact on the scoring drought to stop the play for Evan Mobley. He's picking it up really well. Yes, you all can definitely say that Siakam just trying to get that shot. That Mobley is just putting in a show off on him. Now you're talking through it. Here's the pass to Allen for two and gets it to go. Allen with eight points, two assists and six to score. And here's Siakam. Timeout pull on my Indiana Pacers. The fans are rolling in for the land. As their team is putting an up unbeatable score back up in the lead. It's time for the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Adidas. And by State Farm. Like the neighbor, State Farm is there. And now let's catch up with the New Balance player of the game. Turn it out. When old Jared Allen has that rejection in there, that's what he takes. Better player than ever. He's doing a lot harder to take his time and responses. That's what definitely does. Great defense effort, great offensive effort, you name it. Now they're really looking for that one in there. I'm hoping that Jared Allen might be something in there with Bernard Wim. I mean, he can take it. Not a time off being called by the Cavaliers after a fucking pay for Indiana. 33 left to go in the fourth quarter. And as we're ready to wrap things up here for the last game, as we have the Wolves facing against the Suns, Cat and their team are ready to punch their way if they get a next win in the city. And they're bringing it again with a classic addition to return for the team. Then with the Phoenix Suns, as we will see what they can do on the other side of the range. Better offense, better have that one in there. I'm hoping this would be a good one too. I mean, let's roll. I'd like to see that one when it goes in there. <laughs> Definitely, yes. I mean, gotta have that one all. Let's cut the count. One timeout left to remain. Back to a starting group. With two three left to go. Here is Carlin. Now finds Allen. Allen tries to look it up for the foul and he bats and caught it. Miles turned with his second personal. And another team foul by Indiana. Well, they're respecting right now. Miles Turner haven't done that much. That was a little too aggressive. But now, Jared Allen is ready for the free throw. Another trip to the free throw line will be coming in for the Cleveland Cavaliers with 2.25 left to go. This is the first free throw. And how do you know that? Jared Allen, he's been like really the best. You have to make that one a lot of credit if you have it in there. I know. He's been definitely playing for a hard take. He's ready to prep his team up in game six. Second free throw is good for Jared Off. And now Tyree Celebrating with the ball, which is 2.20 left to go. 
the cut on Garrett Silver. Three up and good. Nesmith puts it in there. They are now back down by five. Jerry Sterling gives it off to Evan Mowley. Mowley trying to get over to get a Darius Sterling. Garland trying to swing it over. Gilbert for three. And yes, he does. Garland has seen that Karis LeVert finally answers the three. Making this one a crowd wide. All you do now is to fake and make it. Now the pass now finally to get a Max Schroes. Here's a chance now to Darius Garland. Schroes for a triple. This is from the outside. Nearing the 90 second mark, here's Siaka. Passes to Turner, and it's a foul called on Jared Allen. That's his first first goal. And another team foul for Cleveland. Oh, the fans are not really liking this call. I mean, this is what they don't do. They don't deserve that one in there, and they're just expecting that Miles Turner, he's ready to take another free throw out there. Another chance for the Indiana Pacers at the free throw line with just 90 seconds, a minute and 30 to go in the fourth quarter. Turner hits the first free throw. The second free throw is in for Miles Turner. And here is Sterling. On his way down, now trying to find some more help in the offense. Finds it again to Max Schroes. Let the clock keep winding down as Garrett's LeVert fly out. LeVert finds it again to Jared Allen. Allen in the corner for the three, and it's off again. Miles Turner with it all. Just one minute left to remain in the fourth quarter. Everybody's on up and making a round wild run. Three misses again. There's the bird. And Max Struess. Give it over to Garland. Says, let me handle it. And a breach intentional foul goals on Curry's on the working. That's his first first goal. The next foul we'll put it in will be at the free throw line after the foul will be picked up. Jared Allen now back to Struess. And he's over now to Darius Garland. Finds a pass. Karras will for three. And misses again. And a big rebound. Now it's turned over to Alan Halliburton. Under 30 seconds left to go. Trying to play the attack and a bucket and he's fouled. Karras will with his first whistle. Their second team foul falls by the Cavaliers. Karras will couldn't believe what they've done it before. Two shots. And now with two shots coming up here for Darius Halliburton with under 30 seconds left. And he gets the first free throw. Tyrese Halliburton trying to get an extension, go back down with a digit to make a close game. But this may not be what they're looking for. I always have to say for Tyrese Halliburton, he's really trying to make his way on his better effort. Now all the hard work and their opinion off respectively. But they have to make sure that this one comes in. And he makes a second free throw. Final timeout call by Cleveland Cavaliers with under 30 seconds. For us right now, I will send it over right now to Terry Cruz and find out what he has. Do you have anything to say? Well, I do have a lot of them to say right now. This is going to be a closest on a matchup range. I'm hoping that this one may be the definite trick to have it in there through. Hopefully there's a great chance to have it in there. You know, we're, like, we're really happy enough to have that one in there. I'm hoping that this one will be the comeback game, and hopefully by then, it will be the finish to make that one count, as this one will be the end of it, to get it all through. And that's all, the post game is coming up after this. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's this one is going to be a lot closer than you think. They're out of timeouts right now. Indiana Pacers have only one timeout left to go. 
one three-pointer is made, six out of 13 field goals with 29 performance effort. Point guards are not always the quitter, but they always have an out, bigger moment. Now for the second star player of the game, Donovan Mitchell, 23 points, three rebounds with two assists, and only had nine out of 13 field goal range, three three-pointers, only had 28 performance effort, had turned to be like he won it all but he didn't have a call to make the right choice. He had that one, slamming and bait, boom. Had the three-pointers, and get that thing done. And your first star player of the game for your New Balance player of the game, well, the tall man does it all. Jared Allen, with two blocks of this game, then it was four assists, 15 rebounds, 10 points, three out of five field goal range, and 18 performance effort. He is a killer. Definitely done really well to have it stopped out. Well, I guess that's probably it. And Game 5 is definitely finished. Only one more game to go for the Western Conference as we've got the Timberwolves and the Suns. They're ready to take things on. If you're ready, ready for the next game, it's coming your way next. Yep, be sure that one catches on. Get ready, folks, because this is where it comes in. And we'll see you all again next time for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. This is Terry Crews and Son of Beast thanking you for watching. Until again, for the final game of Game 5. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.